Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Shock Top Belgian White Unfiltered, St. Louis, Missouri, oddly Anheuser-Busch. If I would have known that, I would not have bought it. This is Belgian style wheat ale brewed with citrus peels and coriander. Alcohol per volume is 5.2, this is a 12 fluid ounce bottle and has an IBU of 20. Your advocate gave it a poor rating. Says here on the label, Belgian style wheat ale brewed with citrus and I read that already down lower. That's them to repeat things. Pour it down the side of the glass and uh, huh, enjoy. All right. Well, I do say I like the logo, that mohawky look to it. That was kind of clever. And let's see what we got here. See, a beer advocate is right, and it deserves a poor rating. It is supposed to be an unfiltered Belgian. So I doubt if we're going to get a whole lot of clarity out of it being an unfiltered. It's a bit of a yellowy to it. So the lighting is still off in this room, so don't fully trust what you see. But as a yellowy, uh, that cloud from the unfiltered, it's got a light little head to it. Gives me a decent little bit of a lace down the side of the glass. Nice carbonation running up and down the sides. It has all the good look to it. Looks very nice. I expect it to be a bit more brown. This is a lot more yellowy hue than I anticipated. Definitely that hoppy smell to it with uh, a fruity, a light fruitery to it. I'd almost say a lemon, but it's not nearly as tart. That must be the orange peel that's set on the label. But you can tell there's an underlying bitterness um, at the bottom of the, the smell, the scent of it all. Mm. Like I said it hits you with that hoppy, then you get that citrusy overtone with a very underlying bitter. And that bitter seems to grow with every sniff. Not a fan of the smell. Doesn't seem to want to come off clean off the nose. Uh, I don't want to say that it stinks. It doesn't stink, but it's not an enjoyable odor to my nose. That's surprising. That is very surprising. I expected a, uh, a bittery, domineering flavor to it all, but I'm not getting that. It comes off very clean. Exceptional. It's just enough hoppy to let you know that you're drinking a beer. The orange uh, bounces it out, makes it difficult for you to even know that you're Drinking something that has any kind of bitterness to it. And uh, yeah, the flavors all equal themselves out in the end. And then it comes off clean and crisply. Very surprising. Like I said, the, the smell I, I did not care for at all. But the uh, the taste, wow, it's uh, surprising. The fact that they gave it a poor rating on Beer Advocate, I'm... I like to uh, dispute that. Yeah, this is a drink it ice cold uh, in the blaze of summer. Yeah, after mowing the yard, you want to treat something better than some sort of uh, cheap stuff in a can. 
This would be great. This would be absolutely fantastic. Now, would I drink it with um, like a burger or a steak or something? It's way too light for that. I would have to uh, say, I don't know, hot dog, chicken, or salad. It's that light. As a matter of fact, I'm tempted to go and take a lemon and squeeze some lemon into it. But it is quite nice. I'm, I am stunned. I am very stunned by this. But there's my review on it. Thumbs up. Good look. Lousy odor. Great taste. So take that, Beer Advocate. I give it a better than a poor review. I give it a pretty good one. That's Shock Top. Belgian unfiltered wheat. It says here Belgian white. But it is a wheat beer, a wheat style ale. And uh, see what you think. Give it a try. Take any comments, put it down below. Hell, make it your own little video yourself. Excuse me, about this particular beer. And let the rest of us in the YouTube community know your thoughts. Until next time, keep on drinking.